険な火遊びをしているようです。Welcome to Tokyo Saurus, Sopatsu in Japan. With the next Gundam, Gundam NT or Gundam Narrative, being less than one month away from its release at the end of November, they're starting to ramp up the promos and advertisements for its theatrical run in Japan. And so they decided to bring the author of Gundam NT, who is also the author for Gundam Unicorn, Harutoshi Fukui, onto a talk show to try and get some information about the most memeable Gundam series in the entire franchise crowned before it even came out. And in this interview slash talk show, Fukui actually revealed to us that time traveling actually happened in a Gundam series right before our eyes. Nobody noticed it, and it wasn't obvious, but it happened already. And upon further examination, it's looking very much like we're going to be getting some more time traveling in the upcoming Gundam NT. Now, I think it's safe to say that Gundam, as a franchise, has never really touched upon time traveling in any serious way, maybe until now. And we're not talking about the part where Benazir and Full Frontal supposedly went through time to witness what happens at the end of the universe. I believe that was more so what happened in their heads when they were connected. But this, we're talking about actual time traveling that affects everyone in their immediate surroundings. And seeing as how this is coming straight out of the mouth of the author and writer for the manga and the original novels of Gundam Unicorn, this is definitely not a theory. It's straight up Gundam facts. So, first of all, what did he exactly reveal in the talk show? The interview not only got the author of Gundam Unicorn to talk, but also the producer of Mobile Gundam Suit Online to talk about the game, but we're here for the Gundam NT part. So let's take a look at what he said. But there will be spoilers to Gundam Unicorn, so you have been warned. At around 13 minutes into the interview, Fukui explains the ending of Gundam Unicorn, which I'm sure has left many questions unanswered at first. But now, Fukui has explained exactly what happened. So at the very end of Gundam Unicorn, I'm sure all of you remember. When Unicorn crystallizes and in a very short sequence, Unicorn disables all the Federation mobile suits in a single swipe of his hands. So, what happened here wasn't Unicorn using some Psycho Frame tech to disable the mobile suits. The Psycho Frame actually caused all the engines of the mobile suits around it to roll back in time, bringing them into a state before they were assembled. Which probably explains the crystallization that was happening on Gundam Unicorn, because as parts of it was technically traveling back in time to a state, Before it was even processed, to become a piece of Gundam armor. And so, time was being rolled back on very specific parts of the Gundam. Fukui explains the Psycho Frame in stages. The first stage, when a Psycho Frame is activated, it converts the human will into energy. We've seen this a ton of times before in previous Gundams, where a talented pilot can will a Psycho Frame into performing better than its opponents. If a person is able to become one with the Psycho Frame completely, and let it become his own body, then we enter the second stage of Psycho Frame. Where he can get access to a different dimension from the real world, which is where it starts to get weird. This is depicted in many previous Gundam series where we see Amuro using telepathy, or whenever something supernatural happens in Gundam. And in Gundam Unicorn, he brought us to the next level of the Psycho Frame, where we now see time traveling aspects and much more powerful supernatural abilities that nobody really understands how to use just yet. And in the grand UC timeline, Gundam Unicorn and NT is pretty much at the very end of it, but as he mentioned, In the previously released Gundam F91, which is at the very end of UC, Psycho Frames are nowhere to be seen. Something huge happens between whatever is currently released and Gundam F91, which implies that something big has caused the disappearance of Psycho Frames, and Gundam NT is one of them. Basically, Psycho Frames and its crazy powers are going to be definitely in the upcoming Gundam NT. And he's probably going to be showing us some more of that time traveling, because why else would he bring it up now, right before NT is released? And if that wasn't a big enough clue, the shining golden Gundam unicorn is nicknamed Phoenix, which is a symbol of rebirth, resurrection, a new era, and of course, time. So, with all of that said, I think we can expect to see some really subtle time traveling stuff going on in Gundam NT, hopefully a little less subtle than what they showed us in Gundam Unicorn, so that we can actually notice it this time around. He ends it off by saying UC has always been a story about people, more so than the robots and the technology. But from now on, Gundam will become a story about people and technology, as technology has become inseparable to the lives of us humans. So, a little food for thought on the future of Gundam and where it's going, and also, now you know the true meaning to the ending of Unicorn, which leads right into Gundam NT. Anyways, are you excited to see bits of time traveling come to Gundam? Or are you excited to finally see if the meme will make it into the movie? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, hit the bell if you're patiently waiting for the IBO announcement. And I'll see you guys in the next one.